Fanta is an orange soda drink that was created in Germany in 1940. Thank you for your suggestion. Fanta was created during World War II in Nazi Germany by the German Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Because of the war, there was no shipping between Nazi Germany and the United States. Therefore, the German bottling plant could no longer get Coca-Cola syrup. Max Kite began working at the German subsidiary of Coca-Cola in 1933. Between then and 1939, the sales of Coca-Cola in Germany rose from 100,000 cases in 1933 to over 4 million cases just before the outbreak of the Second World War. In 1938, Kite took over the Coca-Cola subsidiary in Germany. After the outbreak of the war, Kite worked with the German bureaucracy and was appointed to the office of the enemy property, hence avoiding nationalization of the subsidiary. Coca-Cola Germany was unable to obtain Coca-Cola syrup during World War II because of the Allied blockade. The supply of regular Coca-Cola ran out in 1942, having been reserved primarily to wounded soldiers in the hospitals. Although Kite was part of the Nazi party, as were most Germans during World War II, Kite valued his allegiance to the drink and to the company more than his allegiance to his own country. For that reason, he saw no quarrel with boosting sales by tying Coca-Cola to every aspect of the German life and increasingly the Nazi rule. While other multinational businesses operating in Germany at this time were unable to make products, Kite was determined to still produce something, so he made a tactical decision. He oversaw the creation of an exclusively German soft drink. Kite had chemists concoct a soda that was vaguely similar to Coke, caffeinated and with an unidentifiable blend of tastes, but rather than being made with a secret 7X Coke flavoring, this product was made from leftovers from other food industries, mostly scraps from produce markets. This was usually fruit pulp, like apple fibers from cider pressing, and whey, the liquid byproduct of cheese curdling. The resulting liquor was a translucent beige that was more closely resembled today's ginger ale. Kite asked his sales team to explore their fantasies while inventing a name, and the drink was christened Fanta. At this time, Fanta was all he had to keep the company afloat. Fortunately for Kite, Fanta was all Germany had. With few soft drink alternatives, its popularity exploded. Its prominence allowed it to skirt the sugar rationing, making it the sweetest drink on the market. This made it increasingly popular as an additive in soups and stews. Gradually, sales rose as it became a household staple. Kite then used his connections in the Third Reich to gain a position overseeing all of Coca-Cola plants in Germany and the territories it conquered. This allowed him to spread Fanta across Europe and save other subsidiaries from shutting down. The German branch sold about 3 million cases of the drink before the war was over. And when the Allies eventually marched on German factories, production of Fanta ceased and Kite handed over the profits of his creation to Coca-Cola headquarters in Atlanta. Despite being on the wrong side of history, Kite did get his wish partially. He was hailed as a hero by the Americans back in Atlanta for keeping the company alive in Germany. The, the company's VP of sales, Harrison Jones, praised Kite by calling him a great man for operating in dire circumstances. He was given command of Coca-Cola Europe. 
In April of 1955, Coca-Cola reintroduced Fanta with a new recipe, this time as an orange-flavored drink. It debuted in Italy before making its way to the United States in 1958. This new beverage was a vibrant orange color and was produced using local citrus ingredients as opposed to leftover scraps. In this way, Coca-Cola continued to make a profitable product while distancing itself from the associations it once had with the Third Reich. In 1960, they bought the trademark. Fanta Orange is the most popular Fanta flavor. It is available in 180 countries in terms of volume. Brazil is the largest consumer of Fanta in the world. Fanta is more popular in Europe and South America than it is in the United States. The drink was heavily marketed in Europe, Asia, Africa, and South America, although it did not become widely available in the United States until the 60s because the company feared it would undermine the strong mark position of their flagship cola. There are over 90 different flavors worldwide. Most of them are only available by region in some countries. Did you know that Fanta originated from the German word Fantastisch, meaning fantastic? The name was chosen in collaboration with Coca-Cola headquarters in the United States, who weren't impressed by the product and thought it needed an exciting word to sell it. In February of 2015, a 75th anniversary version of Fanta was released in Germany packaged in glass bottles evoking the original design with the authentic original wartime flavor including 30% whey and pomace. It was described on the packaging as less sweet and a German original. An associated television ad seen here referenced the history of the drink and said that Coca-Cola company wanted to bring back the feeling of the good old times which was interpreted by many to mean Nazi rule. Coca-Cola may need to go back to history class in order to know that good old times is not the best way to describe Germany 75 years ago. The good old times were the days of World War II and the Holocaust in which millions perished. Coca-Cola has said that the ad was intended to invoke positive childhood memories and had to apologize for the ad and replace it. Good job, Coca-Cola. Way to remember the good old times and relive painful memories. So what do you remember about this iconic beverage? Leave a comment. Or if you want, leave a suggestion for a future video about your favorite soft drink. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.